Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Make Ahead Mascarpone Mashed Potatoes. Not only is this a delicious alternative to regular traditional mashed potato recipes, but thanks to the casserole delivery system, it's a very user-friendly way to serve your potato side dish. All right, we're going to start by peeling about four pounds. I have about four and a quarter pounds, actually, of russet potato. I really suggest you use the russet. I know a lot of people like mashed red potatoes, but for me, they're just too waxy. The russet has the better texture for maximum butter absorption. All right, once they're peeled, we're going to cut them in half. I like to go lengthwise. An old French chef taught me that a long time ago. You take your time, you make sure the knife is perfectly centered, and you cut it down the middle that way. And of course, a key to this technique would be making sure you buy those extra large russet that are all basically the same size. Because we're going to cook these all the way through until completely tender, we don't want small pieces falling apart and the bigger pieces staying crunchy. That would be bad. We're going to boil those in salted water until, like I said, very, very tender. It's actually better to go a little tiny bit over than under. Undercooked potatoes will make those horrible lumps that everybody hates. So just make sure they're totally tender. So while those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and prep the rest of my ingredients, which are a lot of butter. That's right, two sticks of unsalted butter. See how nice and yellow that is? That's really good butter. And I know that seems like a lot, but I have over four pounds of potatoes. Some restaurants use 25% butter by weight of potato. So this is about half that. All right, it's a holiday meal. I want a little decadence. It's okay. This is going to make like 12 servings. All right, so I'm going to cut the butter up in pieces. Just leave that out at room temperature. And then for the rest, I have our mascarpone cheese. Not a ton, maybe about a half a cup. One egg yolk and just regular milk. So I'm going to mix that together. Now, if I was smart, I would have left my cheese out at room temperature because this was really hard to mix. But I'm nothing if not persistent. So after a couple minutes of whisking, it did mix in there nicely. So you may want to just leave your mascarpone out on the table to come to room temperature. So that's all combined beautifully, nice and frothy. And then the last bit of prep here, I have my seasonings, salt, black pepper, and yes, cayenne. So by then, my potatoes were totally tender. I tested them with a knife, which went in quite easily. All right, they hadn't really fallen apart yet, but they were definitely, definitely very tender. Drain those extremely well. Let them sit there for like five minutes draining. Then I transferred into a large bowl. I'm going to toss in my butter. I'm going to toss in my salt and pepper. And I'm going to mash those with a regular wire potato masher. If you want to put these through a ricer or a food mill or something, go for it. I don't think it's necessary. I don't mind a few pieces of potato. Remember, these are totally cooked and tender. All right, not all lumps are created equally. Undercooked potato lumps are evil, a crime against nature, but cooked potato pieces are okay. Those are going to just collapse when we serve this, so no worries there. Once that's mashed, I'm going to pour in my milk mascarpone mixture and as soon as that's all whipped together, I'm going to transfer this into my 9 by 13 standard casserole dish. And then I'm going to smooth it out and I'm going to use the tip of the spatula to make little nooks and crannies and peaks and valleys. And those are going to get nice and browned when we cook this. And it's going to make it look awesome and rustic and delicious. All right, so that part is the make ahead. You can do that any time during the day you're going to serve it. You could even do it the night before if you had to. All right, but that's going to take a little longer in the oven. So I just made mine the same day as I'm going to serve it. It can sit right on the countertop until you're ready. All right, and when you are ready to bake, simply pop it in a hot oven for 25 for about 20 minutes or until it's heated through and golden brown. If you want to cheat and put the broiler on the top for a minute, go for it. All right, it's your make-ahead mascarpone mashed potatoes. So anyway, there you go. Golden brown, buttery, delicious. I should have waited for this to cool, but I couldn't. It was just so inviting. Look at that buttery crust. Look at those beautiful, light, mascarpone-scented mashed potatoes inside. Just really, really decadent. Not too rich, just rich enough. So yes, it is basically a mashed potato, but it almost has that aspect of like a potato pancake. It's a little more satisfying. It's just a nice little twist on the classic. Perfect for any special occasion. So I hope you give that a try. All the ingredients are on foodwishes.com, of course. 
And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.